Hello, this is Dynamic FA. Today I'm going to talk about load identity of ABB robot. Load identity, when you dis, uh, assign the two, and you, you have to enter the uh, center of gravity and also uh, the weight of the two and also uh, inertia. Because uh, when you have a two uh, unbalanced, then if you don't set up properly, then it will be a it will make a serious problem of the robot uh, me mechanically, and also it might lose the path and making uh, corner path failure error. So today I'm going to show you uh, the the service routine of AB robot, which can. Uh, calculate the, the mass and also uh, center of gravity and inertia. Uh, let's look at the pendant. Okay, uh, I just uh, close everything and then the first thing you need to consider, uh, you need to, if you want to set up the two, uh, then you, ha you have to active, you, you need to uh, make the, uh, your tool active on the jogging screen like this. I want to recalibrate T gripper. Uh, this one, I want to uh, get the number of the uh, mass and center of gravity and also inertia value. value. So what you can do, Um, uh, program editor you open the program editor and then debug uh, yeah, pp to main yeah. and then now you can see call routine and call routine you click that then you can see uh, service menu service menu there's a few uh, service menu uh, you can uh, see load identity routine you click that and go to click go to and now uh, this is the routine so what you can do you I recommend you want to manual mode and then deadman switch is on okay uh, before we do this I just want to check up the values on the tool the actual tool the data the tool data uh, tool data show data and tv bar edit change value and we can see value here mass 5 kilogram and then I enter the just random number 10 10 10 XYZ center of gravity and quaternion its default value and inertia I X I Y I Z is 10 10 10 I just enter the number okay and then now we back to uh, program editor and dead man switch on manual dead, dead man switch on and that's press start button and you can see the menu the load identification the program pointer will be lost yeah. surely yeah uh, it, it, it'll, it'll lose the program pointer anyway so okay so rapid load identification uh, tool or payload payload I think this is for the uh, load data so you uh, when you do want to calibrate the load like a uh, like a gripper has uh, uh, the the back uh, and then we it can calibrate or something hold something uh, pick up the product and then hold it and then 
you once you calibrate the uh, gripper or the robot hand properly and then you check the payload because like you pick up something and then you can uh, calculate that uh, payload as well so before we do uh, once, let me stop because uh, uh, I need to this move this I just want to show you the robot and okay let me start again let me start uh, let me start from the beginning uh, debug uh, in this case uh, production window pick domain yes and then we can start from here and call routine uh, again load identity and start now uh, yeah that's the same question you you lose the program pointer and uh, wrap it uh, two row payload I said two and this one uh, suitable position of uh, axis one to six that means uh, robots gonna swing uh, the tool uh, especially wrist so wrist will be moved so it have to be in the suitable position otherwise if you uh, get the gripper too close to the robot body uh, then when it cal calibrate actually the gripper will hit the robot arm so you have to be uh, I recommend possibly uh, a little bit stretched position away from the robot arm or away from the any obstacles and then you press ok uh, you can start load identification of like active tool uh, that's the name the T gripper it's gonna do recalibrate the data of T gripper yes okay that's what I want and then two different options non mess in two so uh, I just want to unknown unknown mess so I select number two okay select angle uh, actual axis six axis position uh, the coming detail uh, for uh, measurement movement recommendation uh, plus or minus 90 degree normally I use this minimum uh, it goes to uh, plus normally I select the plus 90 degree and uh, axis this is the axis uh, roughly uh, displaced position uh, now if you okay then robot uh, program will now slowly move if you press the button then it will start moving to the uh, calibration position it goes there and stop at the calibration position this is the position then it says uh, we need to test manually first and then auto or manual 100 percent now so uh, if we press yes now it's already uh, manual mode so that, that's why we don't need to worry about that message so press move for slow test now it's moving but this is not actual robot that's why robot not moving uh, actually uh, it's shaking the wrist and checking the uh, the weight and then and inertia as well now change to switch to automatic or manual full speed mode so now i'm going, I'm going to do uh, 
let's turn it off first and then auto and acknowledge okay and uh, not this one and sub on and start uh, and it will show you movement but it's not moving because this is not a real robot so anyway when when you do actual robot uh, the gripper will go up and down and turn around and then calculate the value automatically switch back to manual mode and we do go back and ah, sorry we have to uh, turn the enable switch on then we switch on then switch back to manual mode uh, okay and then the service routine was not uh, executed on a real robot system the no real values has been calculated yeah it's just a, a fake value yeah this is the result of the uh, tool identification center of gravity uh 10 10 10 update tool this is this is my data this is uh, already already in there so this is uh, uh this don't worry about that if you do this in the real robot then uh it will be uh, automatically calculated Yeah. Okay. Yes, it will be updated. Okay, this is how you can uh, update uh, the mass data and also center of gravity and also uh, the uh, inertia. This is all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.